Yo, if you haven't heard the news, um, GMS is removing Kishin. Uh, and I have the link for the Maple Memo with everything else. They said a bunch of other stuff in the um, Maple Memo as well, but that, that link is in the description if you haven't seen it. Um, there's lots of changes and information in it, um, some of which is actually pretty good. But uh, the main thing I wanted to focus on was Kishin. Um, and that's because I just want to talk about why I don't like the Kishin removal in its current state. Um, and I could end up liking it depending on some changes that um, Nexon makes, but they haven't said anything about it and uh, we'll have to see. But anyways, first of all, I agree with um, the removal of Kishin. I think the two PC meta is uh, kind of ridiculous and unhealthy for any game to have. It's having to actually have two separate PCs that you um, pilot two separate characters on, having to train a whole other character to uh, up to 270 if you're training in the highest level maps. It is absolutely dumb, and I don't I don't think it should be in the game. Um, so what don't I agree with then? If I'm if I'm if I want Kishin to be removed, what don't I agree with? Because they removed Kishin. Um, I don't agree with how they didn't say anything about totems. Um, I don't agree with them not changing the totem system at all, because as it stands, we have 17 totems um, every month, and that's 15 that you can buy with reward points, which are pretty easy to get now, thanks to a recent change, so good on them for that. And uh, two from the daily gift, for a total of 17 totems, or 34 hours of training um, every month. So what that means is you can only play efficiently for 34 hours a month. Um, any hours you train past that, you're training off totem. So you're getting like 50% um, or a little over 50% of your rates. Um, and it's, it just doesn't feel good to train on. It feels absolutely terrible. If you've trained with totem and then off totem, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially um, at the higher level maps um, when the efficiency like really picks up and, and you can use your class to train as efficiently as possible um, without without a totem or, or kishin it just feels um, it doesn't feel good at all um, like what if i i just want to put this into perspective what if another game did this like runescape so imagine that um in runescape you you're making a hundred thousand crafting xp per hour um, but after training the skill for like 30 hours in a month or whatever um, you can't make a hundred thousand xp doing the exact same thing only gets you like 60,000 XP per hour. It just doesn't make any sense. There, there's absolutely no reason to time gate something um, like this, especially in a game where the whole point of the game is to grind. Um, so like having you be able to grind efficiently for a certain capped amount of hours per month is not, it just doesn't make any sense at all. Um, it heavily disincentivizes actually playing the game because once you've had your 34 hours of totem, if you want to do any more, it just feels like absolute trash because you've already, um, tasted those good XP rates and, and you know what you're what you're expecting, but you, you're not able to get it um, If you DC on a totem or if something important comes up and you have to leave halfway through your totem You've basically wasted efficient hours of training for the month that you can't get back So if an emergency happens, I have to leave my totem right after I start it That's two hours of the month gone that I cannot efficiently train on totem anymore um, Which sucks it, it feels uh, absolutely terrible and um that could be solved by reducing the um, number of hours on the totem, but I think I have a better solution that I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, this totem nerf also doesn't even solve the 2PC meta, which is um, one of the issues that Nexon was getting at um, with removing Kishin. Um, people can just uh, grind reward points and buy totems on their second computer and use those, those same Kish mules, and just instead of using Kishin, they're toteming themselves. So it really doesn't even solve the 2PC meta that um, they were kind of aiming for with this. It is definitely more inconvenient, but it's still very possible, and I imagine a lot of people will do it. Um, so what is the solution that I think um, Nexon should work towards um, and implement? Now, I think um, that unlimited totems with a price reduction or um, making them cost meso. Now, first of all, unlimited totems, that shouldn't be a surprise um, because... Uh, it's what I've been talking about for the whole video, <laughs> is how having a limit on totems and efficiently training is not a good idea. Um, now, a price reduction or Mesa price. And the price reduction is because um, with the current 1.8k reward point price, there is a 50,000 reward point cap per month that you can get. So what this means is that um, 
50,000 reward points if they cost 1,800 each, you'd only be able to buy 27 totems a month. So was, there would still be a cap, and albeit a much harder one to hit, um, but th there's no reason to, to have a cap on them. So I think the reward point um, price should be lower, or it should just cost mesas, which would remove the cap entirely. Um, and I, I think that's the best solution. Um, I was thinking maybe something like 30 to 50 mil sounds fair for like a two hour totem, um, but maybe, I don't know. I'm sure that people at Nexon could figure out um, a better number than me with all the data and information they have. Um, so I'm, I'm happy that this memo like communicated a lot to the players, uh, something we've been asking for for a long time. It told us the dates of like everything we're basically been expecting. It told us their, um, that the server like upkeep and the, the lag is a high priority. Um, which I mean, I, I assumed, but it's nice to hear it, I guess. Um, I think it's a step in the right direction, but in order for the game to be playable and not feel like you're wasting your time, this uh, totem issue really does need to be addressed, I think. And one thing that really confuses me about this whole situation is um, Nexon is a company and companies' goals are to make money. And like at the end of the day, Obviously, they're trying to provide a, a product or a service or whatever. In this case, it's a game. But the goal is to make money. And I have no clue. And I, I've thought about this for a while. And I literally just can't figure out how this change would ever um, make Nexon money. I, I don't see, um, like, a single world or a, a single, like, positive benefit financially for removing Kishin from the game. Because they're going to lose players. Um, it might not be a huge amount, but there definitely will be players that leave the game because of this change. Um, and that's not that's not money coming in. And it doesn't do anything to help the new players coming in. Um, which is where maybe they would supplement the money that they lose from players leaving. But the, it, this change, this removal doesn't help the new players coming in at all. So it, it's just really confusing to me. I have no idea what they could possibly um, <laughs> hope to gain from it. Um, but again, if they do make totems unlimited it would make um the game very new player friendly um and would just be a positive change overall and i could see how that would make them money but uh again not really this whole kishner thing um and that's basically kind of all i have to say on the on the totem issue i'm going to talk a little bit about um my 10k legion and what this means for it um, so in the current state, if uh, totems don't get increased or anything, and we still have 17 a month, I I mean, I'll, I'll probably still continue going for 10k Legion. It will be slower because I will be limited to um, X amount of totems per month, but I, I don't see myself stopping. Um, I, I It's hard to say, it's hard to predict the future, but as of right now, um, I think I'll still be playing. Um, and th this is another thing, going back to the, the 10k Legion thing, is a lot of the time I just want to train a mule for like an hour, in, or, or like half an hour, just like pop some coupons on it, um, but I don't want to train the full two hours. But with a limited number of totems per month and no Kishin, um, this is something that isn't really an option anymore for me. Um, so just another thing that kind of sucks, but if we had unlimited totems, I could pop a two hour totem, and it wouldn't matter if I cancel it at 30 minutes, because um, there wouldn't be... It wouldn't be like I was reducing my total XP for the month. Um, yeah, so that's about it. And anyways, I hope that Nexon um, changes their mind and reconsiders the totem system and m maybe make some improvements there because uh, this is just a really frustrating situation. And uh, yeah, so uh, have a great day. Peace out.